G'day mate and welcome to Captain Industry with me, Jitty. Today I want to talk about upgradable steel smelters because as I played through Captain Industry, as I played through stuff from start to end, I, I, I really enjoyed the game, but there are definitely some things that frustrated me. And one of them was um having to tear down to rebuild. If I just left myself an extra tile here or there, or a little bit more space, or or done something just slightly differently, I wouldn't have had to tear down and rebuild something that I built previously. And I found smelters were a big culprit. So I decided to go back and redesign them right from square one to make sure I could build them in a way where I could build everything from the start of the game and just keep upgrading them in place. And that leads us to today's video. Today's video is going to be all about how to upgrade a steel smelter from your very early blast furnace that maybe you're delivering via trucks into something belt fed and then something accounting for recyclables. And then further again into blast furnace mark two with finally a final upgrade to, well, actually exhaust scrubbing. I need to mention exhaust scrubbing in there somewhere. And then finally an arc furnace mark two. So we're going to, we're going to go through all the lists, all the different upgrades you might have uh, obtained throughout the game. At the same time, I do want to ask a couple of things. One, could I borrow like? I just want to borrow it for now. Later on in the video, I'll definitely remind you, if you're not happy with the video, by all means, you can have your like back. Second thing I'm going to mention very quickly is there is uh, down in the description a playlist, a playlist if you want to see more Cavern Minister tutorials. I've already done the iron video. This is the steel. We've already done iron. It's linked up the top right hand corner. But in that playlist, and you should definitely subscribe if you want to see that, we're going to be doing copper and glass in the not too distant future. Last thing I'm going to mention is also down there, there is a whole bunch of chapters. Should you need to watch rewatch this video at a later stage, you want to double check something, you want to see how I am changed from one system to another, you can come back, use the chapters to jump through to the right, right upgrade, and then go from there. Anyway, with that done, uh, we're going to start from scratch. I figure starting from scratch always is the best way. So we're just going to remove everything. We're going to remove everything, start from from scratch have the trucks pick everything up including the 16 steel that we've made already and start again i figure that's always the best way all right so we're going to start with meteorology we're going to start with the blast furnace now i'm going to build be building things within this square okay and this is done for a number of reasons mainly so those that wish to reduplicate this and and know exactly exactly how many tiles they need to have can refer to the grid lines in the future and me starting in a particular square just helps those people if you're not one of those people that's perfectly fine i will mention at the same time i will post screenshots of this on my discord server come join our discord server check out the capital industry uh channel and you're in there in the pinned comments you'll find all the different builds i've done with a lot of high-res screenshots with the grid turned on all right so with that out of the way we're going to put down our very first mark uh, our very first blast furnace and i want to put it one tile in from the edge and one tile in from the bottom also want to make sure the slag is on the outside so i'm going to press the f button to flip it to make sure the slag is on the outside yes uh, we're going to put the first one there second one i want to put right beside it but i want to have a one tile gap and i also want to make sure that i want the slag on the outside so we're not going to rotate it because that does nothing we're going to press the f button to flip it to make sure the slag is on the outside yep that's going to be step number one uh step number two is being that we're going to be doing steel we need a oxygen furnace which i want to come down two tiles i also want to make sure that the exhaust is on the right hand side okay and i want to make sure that this one tile down the middle uh, can i get something to give me a that doesn't help can i get something so we can have a grid line on excellent i want to make sure this one tile gap down the middle is kept empty so we're going to take that oxygen furnace we're going to come from the main furnace down one two tiles and pop that right there we're going to take it again and again i'm going to flip it to make sure the two exhausts face one another Okay. Uh, all right. Next up, we need a metal car. No, a cooled caster. Cooled caster. We're doing steel. It requires cooling. All right. Uh, this, we're going to line up directly with the output. Then I'm going to move it one to the outside. Reason being is, if we have a look, this is slightly wider, so we need to keep that one tile gap down the middle. We're going to need that one tile gap in a second, and at the same time, I want to put the water on the outside. It's going to make our life a lot easier in the future. So we're going to put one there, and we're going to put one on the other side. Okay. That is our basics of our machines. Now, we've got a couple of things we need to connect them up with. Uh, first off is going to be the molten channels. They're pretty easy. They go straight. Uh, the good news is this one goes straight too, but then it goes one to left. Now, it's important we go straight, then one to left. So you can either click and click again, or you can come down, go across, and then hold the control to do the, 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 the different angled, right angled thingy. Yes, to get it in that angle, because that angle is going to be very important in the future. We're going to hook up that as well. All right, so that's our blast furnaces hooked up. Now, there's a couple of things we're going to add, because obviously by the time you have jumped into research, you've obviously already unlocked, uh, where are we? Belts. We've already unlocked belts, so our very first steel smelter all the way up here 
we're probably feeding with belts. So we should plug this one into belts at the same time. We're going to have under transportation, we're going to have a U-shaped conveyor and I'm going to come out from the back of the machine. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to start on the sixth tile. I'm going to go straight across, okay? Yeah, that's going to be for our iron ore. I like putting iron ore, copper ore, whatever it happens to be, the ore on the bottom, and then having the tile above for coal. Just in case I want to put different smelters beside one another, I make sure that the coals are always on one dedicated uh, one dedicated level. Okay, which means I need to put this belt one tile above. So we're going to press the E button to go up one tile, and then occasionally it likes sticking to one another because the belts are highly magnetic. But if we press the R button, it turns off the magnetism, and then I can put this belt straight over the other belt without a problem. Okay, last thing it comes to with the furnace is I need to deal with the slag. So slag, we're going to go not at height two, but we're going to go straight to height three going to be important in the future because we're going to want to have height three reserved for something else that is going to be our three feeding belts now obviously i need to hook these in so we're going to go iron here uh iron here really doesn't matter which one's iron which one's coal we just need to plug them in and then we no longer need to look at the back of the machine so we can come back around to the front and whilst we're here let's deal with the slag so slag we're going to come out from the me uh, output we're going to go left one tile and then a behind back one tile we want to stop right there because that keeps all that on the ground level should you need to tie into it for any other reason if it's on the ground level you can tie into it next thing we're going to do is we're going to come all the way up here and we're going to come up to height number three so it's at the right height but i don't want to plug it straight in okay what i want to do is i actually want to click here and then come back and in one tile Okay, we're going to have a little zigzag at the end. And actually, let's just build that so it's a little bit easier to see. Yep, that way it's a little bit less ghostly. So we're going to come in and do a little curve right here. It's going to help us. It's going to help us in the future uh, should we want to put a build beside a build. Same story this side. We're going to come out, come uh, across one and back one, click. Then we're going to come up to height three. I'm going to come into here and then plug into there. Okay, that's going to be our slag belts connected. All right, we still have a lot of piping we need to handle. So let's handle some piping. We're going to start with exhaust. Exhaust, we're going to grab a big smokestack. I'm going to put this left or right, doesn't matter which one, but we're going to directly connect it to one of these two machines and drop that there. And the reason we're going to do that is when it comes to exhaust, uh, this bad boy, a um, little bit bigger than everybody else, you know, it's, it's like when she says, don't worry about it, it's perfectly fine. He's just a friend, you get a little bit concerned. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger than the uh, standard smokestack, but the point is he also handles 600 just like when she says don't worry he's just a friend he also does 600 uh to your 60 yep okay so we're gonna whack one of those right there and then we need to plug in some pipes so we're gonna go back into transports we're gonna grab a pipe and the second blast furnace is a nice simple connection just plug that in these guys a little bit more difficult uh obviously we can't click here and go backward so we're gonna start in front and then we're gonna plug it into that one now that helps a little bit but um, as you can see, it's trying to bring the exhaust forward. We don't want to bring the exhaust forward. So we're going to go from here, uh, the connection between the two machines. I'm going to run that backward because that's where we really want to take it. As for this pipe, we don't never want that pipe. So we're going to click X. It's going to go away. All right. Next thing we need to do is let's grab some water. Uh, water, I have planned this out to build right on top of groundwater. So we're just going to dump you right there. Okay. Pipes wise, uh, transports, 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 pipe. We're going to grab a pipe. Uh, this is going to be our water, which needs to go in our cool casters. We're going to bring this over. I'm going to pick this tile right here, right between the input uh, for the molten steel into the cool caster and between the uh, and and the oxygen. We want to get that tile in the middle. We're going to click there. We're going to go up and over the top, and then we're going to do the exact same on the other side. We're going to click there, there. Make sure we're you know right between. Yep, yep. Uh, actually, no, right there there right below the oxygen on this type this side and then we're just gonna drag it out a little bit just just like to you know about here about the edge of the tile uh which i might trim you back a tile and also just just bleed everything cool uh all right so with that done uh back to our water we're gonna come over here we're gonna put a little zigzag in there we're also gonna put a little zigzag in here Okay, that's our water done. Now we have a few more things that we need to handle. Uh, we need to get, obviously, oxygen into the oxygen furnaces. So uh, we're going to have an air separator. We're going to put this here. You just want to line up the oxygen in that middle middle tile, that middle gap that we left. Whether you put the oxygen... Uh, you know, whether you put the nitrogen on the left or on the right makes no different one difference whatsoever i do recommend you keep it on the far side at the same time i will mention i've already done a, a tutorial video on steel with a couple of modifications for your very first one to get let you get liquid nitrogen as part of your steel build 
for your very, very first time you're getting into, what is it, Science 3, Science 2, Science 2? I'll also link that up the top cor corner. Don't forget, all these links are also, also going to be down in the pinned comments below. Should you need to go watch that, should you want to go watch that, it's right there for you. All right, we're going to drop you right there. Uh, obviously, you're going to need a smokestack as well, so we're going to put in a little one. You know, like I said, uh, this is you, but this is the one she says is just a friend. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. All right, we need a pipe. Uh, we're going to bring our pipe uh, from the oxygen, and we're going to stop between these two machines. Anywhere between these ma two machines, just click. You can tell. Uh, and then we're going to come up to height one. So we're going to press the E button again to go up to height one, which will give you this lovely error message. Don't connect. That's fine. We don't want it to connect. But what we do want to do is we want to come around the water pipe. We want to cuddle it. So we're going to come around this side and give it a big hug with one arm. And then on the other side, we're going to give it a big hug on this side too. That way, we're really cuddling that water pipe. Okay, making sure it's happy, it's comfortable, it's got its cuddles, reassuring that water pipe, you know, because he also had a situation where it, it was just a friend and, you know, the marriage is now over. All right, uh, back onto belts. We need some outputs here, obviously, so we're going to go back into transports. We need a flat belt. Uh, we're going to bring a flat belt out of this guy first. Just going to bring it on a couple of tiles, doesn't really matter where we drop it. And then we're going to grab this one, bring it over that oxygen pipe. Come on, over the oxygen pipe. Yes, and we just want to plug it in there. Nice and simple. Now, this bit of belt, you can either leave it there and put a storage in front, or you can just say, nope, I don't like you. You can go away, and we're going to take a storage, unit storage, plug that straight into that connector. Now, connectors are special. Connectors have technically a throughput of about a 1,000 items per minute, roughly, roughly. Uh, so anything you directly plug in just works, just works. So we're going to take the ability for it to just work. All right, uh, the only thing we need to do is we need to grab some iron ore and feed that in uh over here let's say and grab some coal and feed that in there okay with that done what do i do oh, that's 200 speed belt oh okay all right uh with that done we're just gonna build the whole thing and if i've done everything correctly it'll just work which is wonderful. It's wonderful. Uh, obviously, your slag. Your slag, you're going to want to take and dump in a slag bucket. And you're going to want to have the trucks take away the slag. You know, we can put it in storage right here and throw that down there and just plug that in there and set you to, you know, slag. Uh, where are we? Slag and set the trucks to empty the thing and we'll just, you know, build that and we can pretend that works. We, we really don't care. As for recipes, uh, obviously, we need to set these to the iron and coal recipe and we're going to just copy the recipe from one to the other and that'll be it. That'll be it. That'll be our two blast furnaces and uh, they shall uh, travel along perfectly. We're going to have molten iron come out, which we are going to, well, after after it runs twice, it's going to be very important. We're going to have enough molten iron that we can blast it with oxygen to then get out our molten steel. Our molten steel will come into the next machine through this little channel. It's very, very hidden. Very, very hidden. Uh, come on. Process. Process faster. All right. That'll give us our molten steel. And then molten steel, we're going to cool with the water. Dump onto the things. Oh, lovely sprinkler system. Oh, isn't it great? Uh, and then you'll output through the connector. Now, because it's through the connector, you're not going to see it. But if we come in here, uh, truck export on. Yeah, there we go. Done, done. We're going to have a very first bit of, piece of steel. Other steel's coming out. And more importantly, as we have this whole system here that is built between a certain amount of tiles, if I was to copy from... Uh, now, let's grab one of these. So if I was to copy from here to here, make sure I get all the zigzags and all the things. We're going to come yep, up to the hard side. And then that one tile in the middle... And then I was to press F to flip it, we can see that if I was to dump that right there, it would line up with the out uh, with the the, the 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 output, the other output for that storage container. Also, actually, we might just put this in place. Yeah, if we put this in place, we'll notice that uh, all our belts line up, or everything lines up. Sure, all the belts are currently going the wrong direction because it's a mirror image, uh, but we can very very quickly duplicate our builds like that. So that's our very first uh, blast furnace. Excellent, we've got a blast furnace. Now, as we go through the research tree, obviously we unlock new technology. The next thing we're going to get from unlocking steel is in the not too distant future, we're going to get recycling. So we need to take our existing blast furnace and upgrade it to be recycling compatible. So uh, we are going to build the exact same blast furnace uh, with another water input. And we need to add to our list recyclables. Uh, can I actually... Oh, no, actually they're all flowing the wrong direction. Let's just remove that. Uh, we need to bring in iron, and we need to bring in coal, 
Uh, and like I said, this is why I build things the way I do, so they're in nice straight lines. And can I build that? And can I build that? And right, exact same furnace, exact same furnace, exact same recipes. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in some scrap. So our scrap needs to come into a balancer. That's the only thing we're going to be doing. We're going to be adding a balancer into our existing iron line uh, before we feed into the smelter. Yes, I should add that. And all we're going to do is make sure the balancer has a priority to... There we go. More iron ore coming in. Uh, make a priority to feed in the recycled iron first. So the iron scrap. As for these guys, we just need to enable the recipe. We don't have to change the recipe order because honestly, it's not going to matter. As you can see, because this can now do iron scrap, it's going to start doing iron scrap. But actually, you're going to be a better example. Eventually, we're going to get to a situation where we don't have enough iron scrap anymore, okay? So the only thing on the belt being fed in is going to be iron ore. It's going to swap to iron ore. Now, after it's completed iron ore, it has to go to iron scrap next because it doesn't have any more available uh, iron ore. If we can see these little gray, gray lines here and green lines, green lines means it's full. It's ready to go. As we can see, we have enough coal to run the copper ore recipe, even though we've never seen copper ore before. I have no idea what a copper ore is, but uh, the smelter has enough coal to at least run this recipe. Uh, it is currently getting enough iron ore in. Oh, no, no, no. Did not get enough iron ore in. Got enough iron scrap to run the iron scrap recipe. We don't have enough iron ore to run this recipe at all. Uh, same applies for this one. It's running the iron ore recipe because that's green. And then eventually, oh, we've got enough scrap. We're going to run the scrap recipe instead. Because it's fed, fed in from a belt, we don't have to do any shenanigans with changing priorities or anything. We just need to turn it on. Nice and simple. Uh, exact same build. Exact same build. Front end. Nothing changed. Okay. From there, we need to upgrade the build once again. We're going to get some new technology, and that's going to radically change up how things run. Uh, can I get... Uh, let's get that half built. Yeah, all right. Technology. In the technology tree, after we've unlocked recycling... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's construction parts three and science... Is it you the one? Yes, yes, like I said. Link up the top right hand corner if you want to know how to make steel and also at the same time uh, make liquid nitrogen as part of the build. Uh, okay, after we get recycling, not too far into the future, after we get through the next research, is uh, advanced smelting. Advanced smelting is going to change things up. We're going to get a blast furnace mark two. We're also getting an oxygen furnace mark two and a cooled caster mark two, which means we're going to have a couple of buildings we need to upgrade. Obviously, we want to upgrade the blast furnace, which should be doing iron scrap as well. Which is Wrong recipe. Wrong item. I did not want to change, try and get the smokestack to do uh, smelting. That sounds like a mistake. All right. So we're going to upgrade you to a blast furnace. Uh, we're going to upgrade the oxygen furnace to an oxygen furnace mark two. Uh, and we're going to also upgrade the cool caster to cool caster mark two. Now, with those changes, it's going to change the recipe. It's going to change a couple of items. Uh, one of the biggest changes is going to be the type of iron you bring in. Rather than bringing in iron ore, you're going to bring in iron ore crushed, which means your old existing iron ore line no longer works. Uh, we're going to have this new recipe, iron ore crushed, which also needs limestone. All right, so what we need to do is take our iron ore and crush the stuff. This is why we have a separate feeding belt for the recyclables, because in the future, we're going to have to bring out uh, the iron ore in separately, separately. All right, which means we just need a crusher, crusher, uh, one crusher per smelter. I've just got a row here because we're going to need a few of them. And my phone's not on silent. Great. Uh, at the same time, one of the other changes was we also need to bring in limestone. So we're going to build a limestone belt. And the limestone, if I swing around to the back, is going to come in on height number two. It's like the hole was left intentionally. Now, when we upgrade the smelter, we get a third port at the back, which we're going to plug straight into. And that's on the outside, which means I can plug this one in directly. And when I upgrade it, that port will magically appear and also magically plug in all right so we're going to build that belt now as for this uh we literally just need to plug this in uh let's grab the coal first because coal is probably going to be important uh we're still going to be using coal so let's plug you in there and you in there i'm going to build you and build you okay with those changes done 
Okay, you can now uh, process iron scrap as you were previously. Also, you can now process uh, the new iron ore crushed recipe. Now, it has changed a couple of other things that we should talk about. Uh, obviously, we're putting out 48 molten iron compared to the original putting out 24. So, can okay, I have you to process nothing, please? Great. We're obviously processing, processing twice as much. Also, the exhaust has gone up significantly. We went from 18 and 24 up to 30 and 36. So, it's more efficient. Also, 48 molten ore for only 36 are uh, iron ore crushed in. So again, it's more efficient. You're using physically using less iron ore to process or, or produce more steel. Because when we take that into the next one, we're going to take in 48 molten iron and output 24 molten steel. Again, exhaust 36 compared to 24. A lot more exhaust, but the oxygen input hasn't changed. So we know we don't have to change our oxygen input. As for the cool caster, it's going to do 24 molten steel in a uh, 24 molten steel into 24 steel with 12 water compared to the old one which only did six so again that's something you need to keep an eye on you're now going to use twice as much water so if we upgrade you plus we upgrade you plus i was upgrade you and then you boost the whole thing uh we would get this guy up and running as well but there's one other thing come on upgrade faster there's one other thing we're going to have to change and that comes down to the exhaust uh around here well, actually, going back to the original one, we had 24 and 24 exhaust, which means this pipe in the middle, it's only a 60 pipe, could handle 24 and 24 because that's 48. In the new version on the Oxygen Furnace Mark II, it's 36 and 36. So we do need to make sure this pipe in the middle, we need to upgrade to the next tier because 36 and 36 is 72. I only move 60. Mr. Uh, Smokestack, uh, like I said, he, she just says it's just a friend. Don't worry about it. Um, he still does 600 between the 36, the 36, uh, the 36, and the 36. Not really a problem. Not really a problem at all. It'll keep churning along perfectly fine. So that upgrades us to a, our Mark II, our, our Blast Furnace Mark II. And then, of course, we need to add in our next bit of technology. So when we got our advanced smelting, we also... Technically, it's beforehand in the tree, but honestly, you're going to end up probably going for the advanced smelting first because it's going to save you a lot of ore. It's going to really cut down on trucks and transport and the amount of resources you need to dig out of the ground. We also get access to the exhaust filtration. Exhaust filtration will let us clean some of the exhaust uh, and produce some steam for some water, also some sulfur. You know, start needing sulfur for a bunch of things so it's a great system to add but obviously you don't want to rip down your existing smelter to upgrade it so we're going to build that whole thing and that all right exhaust scrubbing uh we're going to talk about uh i don't want to do i want to plug things in yeah let's plug things in but let's remove you because we're gonna have to remove that no matter what Actually, let's remove everything. So we'd remove that, we'd remove that pipe, and we would remove that pipe. Okay, that way we can get backed up on exhaust uh, whilst we wait. Okay, we're gonna build the iron, the coal, and the limestone. Cool, let's get those built. All right, exhaust scrubbing. Uh, exhaust scrubbing is pretty easy. You have an exhaust scrubber. Uh, exhaust scrubber requires some water input and we just need to plug water into the input we also need to bring in exhaust on top of that we have some low pressure steam we have to deal with in my case i'm just running it through a cooling tower to recover half the steam back as water works perfectly fine and i'm just making sure i'm putting that through a balancer to make sure i'm prioritizing that existing well that water back into the system rather than using the fresh input of water uh, obviously we're going to have um some sulfur which is going to need a bucket to dump into also uh can i remove you please Cool. Uh, also, we need to deal with uh, the 72 carbon dioxide. Now, you could use one of the smokestacks, as I've shown previously. Uh, one of the, you know, just you, just you. Uh, or or you could, you know, use the one she says is just a friend. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes you want to come up with alternative methods. Uh, my favorite method is, let's get rid of you, because uh, we don't like them being around the house. And we're going to put in uh, a pipe, a uh, normal pipe. We're just going to plug two of these together. And that'll give me a nice little connection here now i did mention earlier connectors have a throughput of about a thousand um we can't just use one of these because they process 60 co2 and this guy outputs 72 so one of these won't keep up but what we can do is if i plug that into a connector and i could use a bigger pipe i could use a bigger pipe or i could remove the pipe and grab a second one so it's like you and a friend of yours and then we could take those and copy them and plug them in there and then we can have a connector which technically has uh, unlimited throughput because it's 
important that connectors have unlimited throughput. And then you have two of them, so you can like tag team the exhaust output. Yes, and we can whack those to get uh, there. And that fixes our input output uh, exhaust problem. And then, well, our, our CO2 exhaust problem. Then we need to get exhaust out of these guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pipe. Uh, we're gonna run this in at height number one. And I'm gonna run this directly across the front of the machines, okay? And then it just needs to go into exhaust scrubber. Now, uh, I have a couple of other things I need to do. We've removed this pipe out of these two machines. Are you missing input? What are you missing? Huh? Oh, you're missing that recipe enabled. Ooh, you just had too many recyclables. All right. Uh, we have this connector here. So this connector here, and then we'll remove the pipes. The connector is still connecting both these two machines together. And all I want to do is I want to plug a pipe off that, and it's going to cover up to height one and connect into that main exhaust pipe that's going to come out to that machine. Next thing I need to do... See, I've got errors already. Can I, can I, I cannot output the exhaust. All right. Next thing I want to do is I want to take a little pipe, and we are at... The pipe that we put in that's actually taking the exhaust at height one. So we're going to go uh, one tile across and then up. Okay. Uh, same on this side. We're going to go one tile across and then up. And that'll give us a nice gentle curve. Uh, can I just build there to there? Uh, a nice gentle curve on our exhaust pipe and also bring our exhaust off these guys. Now, one thing I will mention is this is perfectly in a straight line still. So I can still pick up the whole thing. Uh, copy it, flip it, and plug it into, like so, into the next build. Also, the other thing I'm going to mention is this outputs 36 exhaust, uh, 36, plus 36, plus 36. Uh, 4 lots of 36 is, it uh, doesn't really matter, uh, 4 times 36 is 144. More importantly, 5 lots of 36 is 180. 180 is the maximum one of these can, can convert at once. So, if you have 4 of these together, it's going to use pretty much one of these if you want to go to five you can obviously upgrade the pipes etc to get higher throughput but then you have to do some splits and some junctions at the end to get multiple exhaust scrubbers if you have multiple of these in a row but that's going to add in our exhaust scrubbing we can now clean the exhaust which means happier people means healthier people uh also means that we're going to start grabbing some of that sulfur as a byproduct and potentially you could turn the low pressure steam uh, through a desalinator into extra water which you could use to, I don't know, feed a farm, to feed the extra people, to do something. All right, so uh, that adds in our uh, exhaust scrubbing, our exhaust scrubbing. Now, as we continue down the list, there is still more research to go. More research to go. We have one last one being the Art Furnace Mark II, which is now the point of the video where I say to you guys, look, I've shown you I've shown you most of the video so far. Not quite all of it, but you're still here for 27 minutes in. That like, that like that I asked for earlier, that I borrowed, have you learned enough? Do, do I deserve to keep it? Like, I'd very, very much appreciate it if I could keep the like. At the same time, maybe, if you didn't throw in a like earlier, maybe it's a good time to throw one in right now. Just, just you know, so we can we can stay on the same page and I I, I can keep the like because, you know, uh, it helps with the videos. It helps with the videos. It helps promote the videos. Also, don't forget, I will mention, like I said, down in the description, I uh, know, down in the comment section, pinned in the comment section, is couple more videos, couple more videos, one for the iron smelter, one for the very first steel smelter I tend to build, which has liquid nitrogen built into the build. You can add that and mix that with the current system we've just been going over today. Um, also, there's the whole playlist with more tutorial videos covering everything from nuclear power to farming to how to get more water to yeah, just about everything you can think of. If you find something I haven't thought of, by all means, hit me up on Twitter. We can definitely look at adding that to the playlist. Uh, so we need to go over to Arc Furnace Mark II. Now, Arc Furnace Furnace Mark II is super, super late game, also super expensive. Uh, so we're going to be building yet another furnace. It's going to be the exact same size, uh, design as the one previous. We need to bring in the iron, because that's unchanged. We need to bring in the limestone, because that's unchanged. We're going to bring in the coal, but the coal's been changed, just so you know. Uh, we're going to get those three belts built, and then these guys. Uh, I'm going to pause you, because I don't actually want you running. And I want to upgrade you to Arc Furnace Mark II. Now, Arc Furnace Mark II has a couple of significant changes. One of them is... Oh, also need to bring in that water. Yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah. I'm going to just grab water off the previous build. Uh, okay, one of these significant... Oh, and exhaust. Exhaust can go into that one. Is that a Mark II? That's not a Mark II. Can I get a Mark II pipeline? Into there. Cool. All right. One of the biggest changes is, as we can see, there's no longer coal on the res uh, recipe list. So if we look at this guy, he was burning iron on crush plus limestone plus 15 coal for 48 molten iron 
18 slag, 36 exhaust. This guy, we have, uh, yeah, we're talking that one. So, uh, iron ore crushed. We're still doing 36. We're still doing three limestone, but now we're no longer using coal. We're actually using graphite. Uh, so that's a giant saving on your coal front. Also, uh, we also now need to have water come in because these things burn so hot, they're actually liquid cooled, which also means we get steam out. At the same time, we still get the 48 Molt 9, we still get the 18 slag, but our exhaust is also cut down by an awful lot. These only output 12 exhausts compared to these outputting 36. So it's like a third of the amount of exhaust, which is potentially, if you've got a lot of these in a row, a giant saving on your exhaust processing system. Okay, uh, as for the iron scrap, it's pretty much the same, except it's six exhausts compared to 30. So again, way, way, way more efficient. Uh, as for the front end, we're not changing anything in the front end. It's all happening at the back end. Okay, so swinging around the back, a uh, couple of things we might notice. One, the limestone belt goes nowhere. It's gone. Also, uh, coal no longer goes to the machine, which means I don't need that coal belt. Also don't need that coal belt. I also don't need coal. Ooh, get it. I also don't need coal uh, into this build at all. So we're just going to delete the coal belt outright. Go away. Uh, one thing I will need instead is I'm going to need graphite. Now, graphite we're going to get throughout the game from different resources, different things. One of them is from exhaust scrubbing. And we're just going to literally slot that in on height number two, where the previous one was. It slides in directly under where our slag comes out. And it's one of the reasons I put the zigzag, so we know in the future, that tile right there is the one that's gonna have the graphite come in. Uh, at the same time, we can see that as the limestone no longer lines up there, we're going to have to take the limestone and slide it over top. It's a little inconvenient, but in the grand scheme of things, moving a belt over one tile is much better than trying to move the whole stack of belts over well move the whole stack of belts back three tiles which is something i've had to do previously because i didn't have quite enough room to get our uh, new belts down to the lower height to plug into some of the new belts all right uh at the same time we're going to do the graphite on this side which we'll plug into there uh whoop there after the machines built all right next thing we need to do is we need to get water into the system so i have a pipe uh, actually let's build the pipe from scratch so we're going to bring in a pipe at height number two that's going to be very very important we need to come in at height number two and actually let's keep things lined up we're going to go from the edge of our square to the other edge of our square at height number two with that plugged in we're then going to grab our transport a pipe and we're going to plug into this guy. Now, I said we're on height number two, which means we need to go to the right two tiles and then straight up. And from this one, we're going to go right two tiles and straight up. Cool. That's also plugged in. Pipe looks a little bit funky, but, you know, we can probably deal with that. Uh, and then let's plug in our actual water. And let's just build water input. Uh, just the water half, please. Sure. Uh, I built that one wrong. Yeah, I need to come from there to there. Oh, that's way better. Way better. I forgot that. Pipes do stupid things. So we're going to come uh, out to, click there, and then aim deer. Nope, you're still doing stupid things. Whatever. Fine. Uh, okay, so we're going to build those two pipes. All right, around the other side. Uh, we also have a steam output that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, actually, let's build you and you and you. Just build all of that, please. Uh, actually, let's build those two as well. All right, so uh, around the other side. Now we have our limestone worked out, our graphite worked out, our water worked out. We can then output, except we have this steam low that we need to deal with. So we're going to take a pipe again. We're going to come up tight two to match the one at the rear. And we're going to start at the edge of our build. Come on, don't try, don't, don't try, don't try. Yes, there, okay. And we're going to come uh, straight out at height. Height number two, stop trying to attach the things. And we're just going to plug it into wherever we happen to be disposing with our steam. Again, oh, small pipe. Uh, we're going to come from our output. And then again, we want to go up two tile. Uh, we want to go across two tiles and then up. And we want to go towards the middle. It's going to be very, very important. We could plug in here, but it means if we start chaining builds together, we're going to end up with two connectors right beside one another. And if we end up with two connectors right beside one another, they don't connect. Yeah, I know. It's weird. Connections don't connect. So we're going to come uh, 
two tiles to the right and plug in there. Okay, with our Steam, we just need to output our Steam into some sort of Steam deletion device. You can vent it in space. You can run it straight in a cooling tower. In my case, I'm going to run it through a quick low pressure turbine. Uh, not that I highly, not that I recommend this at all, because you need 1.4 megawatts worth of power to provide 12 low pressure steam. After you've used 1.4 megawatts worth of power four times, you've made 48 low pressure steam, which you can then produce one megawatt worth of mechanical power, which you could then run into two of these to produce 600 kilowatts worth of real electricity. Yeah, don't do that, don't do that. Uh, find something else to do with your steam. But that's gonna be the combination. So uh, for the one on the other side, we come out from that tile, we come up two tiles, we plug you in there. We would build that pipe. We've already built those connections. And that means that if I click you and I click upgrade and I upgrade you to the next level, you should have your limestone magically connect, your iron ore magically connect, your graphite magically connect, your water pipe connect, your steam pipe magically connect, and everything should just work. The only thing I have to do is I have to update the recipes because obviously it doesn't have uh, the graphite recipe selected because it didn't know about that previously. If we unpause you and we copy recipe from there to there, we can see that we have all our inputs plugged in or our outputs plugged in and machine is definitely running and purring along and we should see our output any second now. There we go, there we go. All in and done. So that is how we go from our very, very first smelter. Our very first smelter with a couple of little belts that got us up and running into uh, recycling. That was our first edition. And then into the Blast Furnace Mark II. And then uh, the Blast Furnace Mark II with the exhaust scrubbing. And then finally the Arc Furnace Mark II with the exhaust scrubbing, with the recycling, with finally taking that steam and doing something with that steam whilst costing us a crap ton of power to run these things. But more importantly, they don't cost coal. And if you take the coal and you burn the coal for power, you technically end up as positive power. As long as you ignore the fact that you just need to invent graphite from thin air. But that's a you problem, not a me problem. And that is also the end of this video. So if you found the video helpful, by all means, click that like. If any of the playlists or any or any of the things I mentioned in this video, uh, or any of the other videos I mentioned, sound helpful to you consider playing uh, checking them out in the pinned comments below i will see you guys in the very next video which will probably be on copper i imagine copper is a little bit more complicated a lot more things that we need to uh, juggle so we're going to do copper next and then finally glass um we might i don't know maybe we'll throw in some quartz towards the end i don't know we'll see uh either way thank you guys for watching do hope you've enjoyed i'll see you guys in the very next video right, bye